Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing um, my Safari VIB Rouge Sale Haul. I picked up a lot of things in this haul. I'm not going to lie, I picked up way too much stuff, um, even more than I actually need or probably anybody in the world actually needs in makeup. But I did pick it up because it was 20% off and who can pass the opportunity up? So some of these things I've already tried, some of them I have not. So on the ones I have tried, I'll let you know like what I think about them. And the things I have not tried, I'll just show you and maybe in future videos I'll let you know how they worked out for me if I like them or not so yeah if you do want to see what I picked up in this massive Safari VIB Rouge Sale haul then just keep watching this is the 20% off from Safari. I did go a little crazy because it is only once a year they do have two sales twice a year the other one was only 15% well this one is 20% so I had to go a little more crazy than I would with the 15% and I did pick up a lot of things so let's just get right into it I'm going to start out I think with palettes first then I'm going to go into the bundle sets and then probably just take it from there. So the first thing I did get is this hourglass and this is, what is this? The ambiance lighting edition it's the surreal one now I didn't pick up the one they had last year this is actually my only one that I have from them I have a little palette like the trio from them otherwise that I don't have the other one like the older one they had from last year this is just gorgeous I mean look how beautiful that is it is a little cheap though I'm not gonna lie like this packaging is a little more cheap than I thought it was going to be but whatever it is pretty looking at least so those are the shades um this is an all over face powder I have cotton on me okay <laughs> and this is supposed to be a blush this is supposed to be a blush this is supposed to be a bronzer and then again this is supposed to be like a highlighter so these are just really pretty because look at these shades these are so beautiful honestly like they are just so gorgeous i have not tried this out yet i've swashed this a couple of times in store and when i got it home i haven't played around with it yet so i can't tell you how it is but i'm going to tell you right off the bat this one is a really nice bronzer it is going to be for like light to medium skin tones they should put two bronzers in because i feel like it would be a little more universal especially like if i self tan i don't know if this bronzer will show up but um if i'm just like lightly tanning it definitely will this one is a really pretty 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 blush like look how pretty that is this one I don't know if it's actually going to show up on even my skin tone because it is very light like it's extremely light it's like almost like a nude like I don't know if you guys can see but that's what that looks like it's almost like a nudie color it's probably going to show up a little bit but I might have to put over like another blush or something like that just to enhance it a little bit more I really love this palette and I think they did a really good job okay so next up is this Huda Beauty palette I wasn't sure if I was going to pick this up just because I heard a lot of mixed reviews on it but a lot of my friends that I've talked to said they absolutely love it and it was a really good value and they like it so I was like okay let me pick it up and I gotta say I am definitely not disappointed I have played around with this quite a bit like I've played so many times with this this and the Lorac palette I've been going back and forth with so everything I've tried here I really enjoy I feel like nothing here is chalky I feel like it's a really good palette a lot of these are very pigmented so when people say they're not pigmented I'm not really sure why they're not but mine is the only thing I could actually think of is maybe like every single palette is not good like maybe some are good some are not like that's the only reason like I would think people would say this is not pigmented but personally mine is pigmented so that is what this one looks like you see it's like I hardly even touched it and that's how it swatches so I mean when you are using your brushes they look really nice I personally love these two shades together what are they sandalwood and henna I love those two together I've been using those for like my crease and for the bottom portion of my eyes they just are so beautiful I have used um, a couple of these and those are all really good I've absolutely loved them they are beautiful I do use glitter glue when I use those on like my eyelids and they do stay longer so when I don't use the glitter glue I do notice that the pressed pigment 
pigments over here, like the top shades, do fade a little bit more, a little bit faster compared to when I do use the glitter glue. So you do have to use glitter glue um, if you do want to use those pressed pigments. But otherwise that, these, I don't use glitter glue with. And I just love it. Um, I don't know. I really enjoy this palette. I think I might do a, like a quick review, get ready with me using this. So if you do want to see that, um, thumbs this video up or let me know down below. But personally, I've really been enjoying this palette. I think it is worth it. And yeah, I just love it. And I think the shades just, they're just so beautiful. Look at that just so gorgeous okay so next up is this Tom Ford palette actually this came out the day after the VIB Rouge sale ended so this was actually more available for like VIBs and I did call Sephora and I placed an order with them and they were able to give me the 20% so I was able to get the 20% off is why I included it in this haul so this is what it looks like it is absolutely gorgeous it is beautiful so this is the highlighter this is the blush and these are the for eyeshadows. I have not played around with this yet. I have swatched it. It is gorgeous. I mean, just look at it, right? Um, I feel like this shade right here, I don't even know what it's called, but I'll link it down below for you guys, is more of a shadow topper. So it's not like just going to be for straight up eyelids. You're going to have to put it over something else to make it pop. It just has like a little more twinkle to it. Um, and these are definitely more shadows. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush. Like, oh God, that's it's just so gorgeous. This is a beautiful palette. I can't wait to play around with it. I got this Burberry and this is the lip set. I wanted this for so long. It kept like coming in and out of stock, in and out of stock, in and out of stock. It was kind of annoying me, um, but I finally got my hands on it and I'm so glad I did. I have not played around with these yet either, but they're so pretty. They are mini lipsticks. So these shades I believe are in their collection already. So this is, what is it? I don't know what Simon's saying. This is the Lip Velvets. These are so gorgeous. This is a red lipstick. So that's what the red lipstick looks like. It's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. I think for the holidays, that will definitely be a must-have. This one is, I don't know. I can't even see the shades because they are so tiny. I will list everything down below for you guys. But this one is more of like a pinky mauve color. And I believe it's just so pretty. Honestly, it's so wearable. I think anybody could could wear this do you see like I feel like anybody could wear that that's an everyday shade for me love it this one is more of a deep vampy red and that's just so gorgeous like look how beautiful this is I think that's like everyday shade as well and this one is more of like a burgundy it's so pretty guys look how gorgeous that is and again you could wear this every day or even for the holidays I think it's just so gorgeous. Do you see like, it's it's so beautiful. Like that is so wearable too. So I love this set. You get four of them. They are small. They are like more of a travel size, but I feel like because they are Burberry and you get to have four of their shades, definitely worth every single penny. Okay, so this one is Sephora Favorites Glow For It. Now this is a Sephora Glow Kit. I did pick one of these up prior to the sale and I had to pick up another one just because I thought it was a really good value and I absolutely love the products in here. So let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like like you get an hourglass in here and this one is the strobe lighting and incandescent absolutely gorgeous this is like my favorite I'm wearing that on my cheeks today just love it and then this one is the milk makeup sun oil and this one is actually like really nice I have tried this out and I really like it I have to play with it a little bit more to really see if I really love it but at first impression I am enjoying it this one is the Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector. Now this one is in the liquid form. I do have these, but not in the liquid form, so I was happy to get one of these. And this is a really good size. Like, how much do you need, right? And then this one is the Benefit What's Up. I absolutely love this. I have a couple of these, so I might add this into a giveaway coming up. And then this one I also have. This one is the Cover FX Radiant Oil. Um, I have this in the big one, like the big size. I like these, and I like to mix them with like foundations or just by itself. So I'll probably add this again in another giveaway. And then this one is so beautiful. And guys, um, does it look like something? 
looks like ColourPop, right? Oh my goodness, I know some people have said that. It's so weird. It does. The same exact packaging. Like, the same exact packaging. So, anyway, um, this one is a bronzer. I think it's just really gorgeous. And I can't wait to use it. And look, it even has, like, marbling in it. So, it's exactly like ColourPop. Like, that's weird. But anyway, um, this one looks really pretty. And it says glow. Wait, glowing lights? It's not a bronzer? I thought it was a bronzer. Maybe it's not. Oh, okay. Wait, this is not a bronzer. This is actually a highlighter. I don't think I could use it as a highlighter, but I still like it anyway. And yeah, it was a really good value. So if you could get your hands on this before they sell out, definitely worth it. So the Sephora favorites give me some lip and liner. This bad boy, like look how big it is. It is so big. It is so gorgeous. It has like everything you need. And then some here, like I feel like this is everything that you will need for like a year and then some. Um, you get a bunch of lipsticks, a bunch of liners, a bunch of liquid lipsticks, a bunch of regular lipsticks like the YSL. You get Makeup Forever, Tarte, um, Benefit, who is this? Boxum, um, Estee Lauder, everything. Like the whole nine yards are here. So you get everything. It's really pretty. So I absolutely love this. Can't wait to use this. I did pick up this Shiseido Facial Cotton and now everybody and their mother was talking about these. So I had to see what all the hype was about and I have tried this out and I gotta tell you, these are freaking amazing. They are so soft and honestly very luxurious. I don't find when you use them like there's any cotton left over anywhere on your face. There's no like residue or nothing like that they are just so nice so luxurious and look how thick they are like they are pretty thick so what I like to do is cut them in fours just because they are quite expensive for cotton pads and I like to cut them in fours and I'll just use one you know in the morning one at night this way I will save some money because these are quite expensive but they are definitely worth it so I picked up backups on my caviar anti-aging by Alterna these are the shampoo and conditioner I absolutely love these I did get the smaller sizes of them just because I wanted to buy some other products, so I wanted to um, make my money go a little further. So that's why I picked the small versions of this. I definitely in the future will pick up the big versions. I absolutely love these. These have changed my hair dramatically. I find that they are really hydrating for my hair. My hair looks really nice afterwards compared to other shampoos that were just stripping my hair. I find while I'm using this and the hair mask, I also have their hair mask. My hair is just growing back a lot better, a lot faster. And even like before I thought my hair was gonna be completely damaged from the products that I was using, this has turned my hair around like 100%. So I absolutely love these. Definitely will continue to repurchase them over and over and over and over and over again because they are definitely worth it they are a little more pricey but in my opinion definitely worth every single penny um, and they don't have parabens sulfates or any coloring in it so they are definitely worth it and they smell really good like my hair afterwards just smells really good so I absolutely love them I picked up this power couple kit and I have purchased this kit before in the past I actually did a whole video on this I'll link it down below if you guys are interested but this one is the good jeans and the Luna by Sunday Riley they look like this these are not full sizes these are more I don't even want to say sample sizes because these are definitely not sample sizes I would say they are the smaller versions of the big size but they are so good this is $85 value the one thing I have to say is when I first purchased them I believe they were like 70 75 dollars so they did go up 10 to 15 dollars so I'm not really sure if it was 70 or 75 but now it's 85 so I had to pick up the Luna night oil because I absolutely love this this has retinol in in it it also has blue tansy in it so this way the retinol is not as harsh on your skin compared to just like a straight up retinol absolutely love this been using it for months definitely worth it i will continue to purchase it the reason why i got this kit also instead of getting the full size is because the full size retails for like i think 105 dollars and then i still had to get my good jeans and this had both of them in it so i was like let me get the kits i wish they would have like a kit with the full size of both of these but whatever so the good jeans is also also in here and this has an all-in-one lactic acid treatment this stuff is really good for any hyperpigmentation and they aren't even skin tone if you want to smooth your skin over a little bit more just to give a little more boost and radiance to your skin it is 
absolutely amazing when I stop using this I see a difference in my skin so I had to get another one because I was out of my other one and I was starting to see a big difference in my skin again and not in a good way so this has a pump also which I love so this stuff plumps my skin as well it exfoliates my skin I absolutely love this um I feel like it's definitely worth it and these two together are like my holy grails I can't live without these okay so I had to pick up the Marc Jacobs blush this is the new blush I know I told you guys in my wish list that I wanted to pick up at least one, maybe two or three. I already picked up one. Um, this is just so beautiful. So this is a really pretty peach. You could either swirl these two shades together or use them by themselves. But they are just so gorgeous. So that's the darker shade. That is the lighter shade. Oh my goodness, guys. Like, I just love this. It is so pretty. They swatch so nicely. And they are a really good blush. So I can't wait to use this. It just looks so gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so next up is this Marc Jacobs, and this is the blush. This is the one I wanted for so long. Last time they had the sale, they were sold out. I wanted to pick it up this time around. This is supposed to be like a highlighter, like a pink highlighter, but personally, I would use it as a blush because I don't feel like that's just gonna be like a straight up highlighter. It's very pink, so I personally would use it as like a blush topper or something like that. And then this is a really pretty blush. It's not like that intense like you see it in the pan. It looks more intense compared to here It's not that intense. It's very pretty. It's very subtle on the skin. It's very buildable on the skin It's like a flush of pink. I feel like anybody could wear this So I do love this and these two together are just absolutely gorgeous. This one is the Tom Ford and this is the bronzer I have used this um, This one is in Tara now as you guys can see it's very light and subtle I feel like this might be a little too light for me I don't know you see like this is buildable if you continue to build it up but I don't want to sit here all day trying to get my bronze on you know so I might have to get the darker shade in this but it's still really pretty I think as long as you're building it up it's really nice if you are very fair skin I think that might actually look a lot better on you okay so I also picked up my Elizabeth and James perfume I love this perfume. This is the bourbon perfume. I actually committed to the big bottle here. Like I've never committed to Elizabeth and James perfume like the big bottle. I do love their white, but I never committed to buying the full size. So I actually committed to buying the full size this time. So that's how much I absolutely love this perfume. I feel like this is perfect for fall and winter. I would even probably wear this in spring and summertime, but it is more of a heavier scent. It does linger a little longer. Um, it just smells so good. This is more of a heavier scent. It's more like a spicy bourbon nightclub-ish kind of scent. It's just a really nice scent to me. I personally love it. I know they have the rose one too. That's the new one as well. I'm not a fan of the rose one. I like this one a lot more. Personally, the rose one just doesn't smell good on me, but this one smells so great. So um, yeah, I committed to the big one. Yay! Okay, so I also picked this Peter Thomas Roth Hydro Gel Eye Patches. Now, this is quite expensive for eye patches, but I did get samples of it and I absolutely loved it, so I had to pick up the big size. It comes with like a little spatula thing over here, which kind of gets a little messy because you have to store it over here. I also keep this on just because I don't want it to dry out. That's what they look like. I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh, it's just weird, right? This stuff actually works. It firms the under eyes and it depuffs. I really do like this because it looked like everything was smoothed over. And I just love this stuff. I think it's quite pricey for eye patches, but I definitely think it's worth it. You always wanted to get something that really firms and really depuffs like instantly. And I mean instantly this is definitely the one that you need to try out okay so moving on to the kapari coconut body glow so this is the stuff i told you guys i wanted to get it's almost like a body oil well it is a body oil but it's almost like a dry body oil and it's just so beautiful so that's what that looks like it's just really nice. It's really hydrating. The only complaint I would have is it has like micro glitter in it. So you can't see it on camera. But if you are in person and you go outside into the sunlight, you'll definitely be able to see it. But besides that, it's a really nice body oil. I have to use it a little bit more to like tell you how I feel about it. But I do feel like it does hydrate my skin really nicely. And it has like a really beautiful scent to it. It smells almost like 
like a flower, like a bouquet of flowers. So I absolutely love that scent. It smells really nice. It's a really good dry oil. It has coconut in it as well. And it gives you like a little nice glowy look to your skin. It definitely hydrates. It has hydrating properties in it, of course. And I think it also has um, like no parabens, no fillers, no preservatives, no bad stuff in it basically. So it is really good. So I did break down and get these two. This is the kit of the Sol Gennaro. I don't know if that's how you even say it, but it's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is the full size, and I did get the kit that I told you guys I wanted to get in my um, wish list. So this is what they both look like. I gotta say, they are a really nice size. These are full sizes. It's a really nice way to try these things out. They smell really good. It smells like summer in a bottle to me. The only thing is, I don't find that this body wash really hydrates my skin as well as I would like it to. It seems like I might be allergic to these two products or this product in particular anyway. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to continue to use it. I absolutely love the smell of it. I feel like it's a really good lotion, but if I'm going to get itchy from using it, it's definitely not worth it for me. So it kind of sucks because this was this was quite pricey, like even with the 20%, and now I can't even use it. Okay, so I picked up the Giorgio Armani um, liquid lipstick. These are brand new. I was able to get my hands on one of them before the other one sold out. So this one is in number 506. I don't even know what the shade is called because it just says 506 and this is the lip magnet so this is what it looks like it's just like really pretty so it's just a beautiful berry mauvey color i just absolutely love this shade i feel like you'll get a little more pop to the lips when you wear this it just looks really nice it is a very thin formula but it's a creamy formula it does dry down completely and it is almost transfer proof i have to try it out some more but it seems very comfortable on the lips as well so i have been enjoying the shade i want to get some more okay so the next lip product that i got as well is the tom ford and this came on the web website the day after as well so I did do the same thing that gave me the 20% when I brought it back to the store um this is just so gorgeous this is the holiday lipstick um this one is in Venus Rising this is the foil lipstick it is just so beautiful it is really pinky um it does have a little sparkle to it like a little sheen in it so it does look like it's a foil on your lips it looks really hydrating and it makes your lips look a little more like plump and vibrant so it's just really gorgeous I absolutely love this I want to pick up some more they are quite pricey though like Tom Ford products are quite pricey especially the lipsticks they are a little ridiculous for how much she wants to charge but I feel like they are very creamy they are very hydrating for the lips and they do last a little while so I feel like it's still worth it of course you are paying for the name a little bit but that's fine I got this girl on and these are the meteorites yeah the meteorites is the holiday set so that's what they look like I hope you can see them they do have different shades to them this is a pink that's the green and that's more of a gold it looks a little more like this would be a highlighter or all over face powder compared to the other version that is more like um, a neutralizer and setting powder this one looks like it would be a little more of a highlighter it does have little sparkles in it it has like a little sheen to it i haven't tried this out yet but i can't wait to use it see how it works i wanted to use this for like an all over face powder but i might use it just as a highlighter if it's like a little too much and too intense we will see but either way i think this is is really beautiful it's really gorgeous and look at the packaging and last up is these three Giorgio Armani eye tints I love these eye tints I have two other no I have three other eye tints from Giorgio Armani and I absolutely love them so I had to pick up three more so this one is in number 12 this one is in number seven and this one is in number two this was in a kit a holiday kit so I had to pick them up because I thought it was just a great value these shades are really nice this shade I already have and I absolutely love this is actually what I'm using on my eyes today all three of these this number seven shade is more of like a gray silver and it has a little shimmer in it this one is in number 12 and this one is a beautiful like topper or in the corners of your eyes or something like that and then this one is number two and this is more of a matte I think it might have a little shimmer in it it's hard to see but it is more of like a navy color these are beautiful I feel like they dry down really nicely they blend in really nicely um they are just very workable very blendable I feel like they are bulletproof they basically stay on your eyes all day they don't 
crease they don't smudge they don't budge and I feel like these are so workable anybody could really use them so if you did want to see maybe a look or like a get ready look um with these uh, let me know in the comments I would definitely do it for you so that's everything I got in my Safari sale haul I hope you guys did enjoy it I know there is a lot of stuff here I have tried some things I haven't tried some things yet um if there is anything here that you want reviews demos first impressions anything let me know in the comments um I definitely do it for you and yeah it's basically about it I hope you guys did like this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you guys don't know I am having a giveaway it's going on for two weeks I will link it down below for you guys it is the Safara play box I do it every single month for my subscribers so go check it out and I hope you guys do enter so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for spending some time with me I hope you guys did like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please come join a little YouTube family here we would love to have you and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys